Ciao, mi amici, my friends. Hello, my friends. That's our Italian. Our other Italian today is Bellissimo Gino, beautiful swan. Today we're going to be making parachu. So chapter 22 is what we'll be talking about today, uh, dessert presentation. We're going to be doing um, cream puff swans. And so parachu is a mixture of you bring your water, your butter, your salt, and your sugar to a boil. You add your flour and you cook it for about a minute. You put it on the, the uh, mixer with the paddle attachment. As, as it cools, you're going to add your eggs one at a time. You can do different things with uh, parachu. There's, um, you can make uh, cream puffs, you can make eclairs, you can make um, churros with this, the same uh, batter. You can do savory, take out the sugar and add cheese to it and do cheese puffs. Uh, there's just a, a bunch of different things that'll tell you in your book what you can do with, with parachu, which is really nice. But for, our, for us, we're gonna do uh, practical plating uh, guidelines, which is on page 600. So there's five characteristics we look for when you're doing a plated dessert. And so the first most important are taste and mouthfeel. So you have your flavor, because you want to have a good rich flavor. Your texture, so it will be crunchy, smooth, uh, like a mousse or such. Uh, temperature, if it's going to be served cold or hot, room temperature and such. And then your visual, your visual is your color. So your garnishes would be your, your strawberries, your blackberries, uh, and the shape. So sometimes you get height, you know, we do some chocolate designs, you put height on top of a tall dessert. You eat with your eyes, right? So when you see something that is so beautiful and simple, keep it simple. You do not want to add uh, 15 strawberries on there and some blackberries and raspberries and stripe everything and put sauce all over the swan. You just want to keep it very simple. So we're going to have a design, I'll have a, a plate design for you uh, the day of, of class so you can see what we're going to be making. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make the swans and how to pipe them and the necks that we do separately. So let's get started. We're going to start with turning on our pan over here and we're going to turn it all the way up to about three, 340. We're going to add our water. We're going to add our butter. Now I'm going to break up our butter into smaller pieces just so it melts faster. And we have our salt and our sugar. We're going to throw this all in together. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And as soon as, as, soon as it comes to a boil, then we will add our flour. It won't take long for this to boil because of the induction burners. So it's so important, like I said, it's really important that you, you don't want to overpower your plates. You're going to have a simple white plate to work on, and you will have a, a chocolate bag to do your design. Uh, and everybody's going to do the same design. I will have posted for you though, I will have you posted um, a video, a couple of videos of how nice they can do some plated desserts. Uh, there's just, there's pools you can do with the sauces and such. So you'll, you'll see those as well. Uh, they look really nice and they're great. So I'm just waiting for this to come to a boil. Now I turned it all the way up to 400 because we want a full, a nice full boil on this. But we have to make sure that the butter is melted all the way. So we don't want any chunks of butter in, in our uh, in our paste at all, or else it'll mess up. So it's almost there. You have to keep an eye on this as well because if uh, if you get it too high, this will boil over. So you don't want to get it too too hot to where it'll it'll boil over on you. So this is almost there. And I can hear it, and there it goes to a full boil. So everything is melted in here. So I'm going to throw in our flour. Just right away, throw in your flour, and you're going to start to. You can, I'm going to show you right away. It's just bubbling really quick. So now we're going to give it a stir. You turn our heat down now. So we do need to cook it for about a minute or two when we're uh, when it comes to a, a, a ball. This is going to come. I'm going to show you in a second. 
this will come to a complete, there we go. It comes together. I like to cook it for about a minute. You know, 30 seconds or so, half a minute, not a lot, but you're going to see the difference as I mash it and turn it into, just, just turn it into a really nice paste. Okay, so this is this is what we have. This is our our paste. See how thick, how it turned. So now we're gonna put this on our mixer. I have a paddle uh, attachment for us. We're gonna throw this in here. Put this to the side. Now we're gonna put this guy on and make sure. Now we put on speed probably well. First, I think I have to plug it in, right? There we go. Okay, so let's turn this on to, we'll go four. Now, if we're waiting, I know it's going to take, I'm going to use this, I know it's going to take at least uh, two eggs. So we can crack. Crack two eggs, and these eggs are room temperature as well. So I actually uh, I put a little bit of warm water in here earlier, just for about ten minutes, just so they warm them up because eggs wake up better at room temperature. So we're going to have this really nice batter. So that's still a little warm. You know, I want to be careful. I don't want to overdo it. In the meantime, I want to show you this is what we're going to be using to pipe. And it's a star tip, and I believe it's a three, it's an 826 star tip. It's like the whipped cream. So we're going to make our swan body. We're going to have, is that going to be like a teardrop? And then I have a number, I, I believe it's a number five or a seven, five, to pipe our nest. So I'm going to do those as a close-up so you can see how, how those work. But right now we're going to get our batter done, and then I'll do a close-up. So we're going to add one egg at a time. And I want you to make sure that once you add your egg, you let it incorporate first all the way the batter so it's not slimy or, or runny. It has to absorb the egg. So it's going to it just absorb it now it's very tasty. And I'm going to add another egg. I'm going to show you. I want to show you this is this is how it looks very slimy as you can see it looks looks uh, very uh, very wet but now once we have the age mixed into it and it absorbs it you're going to see a difference okay so now this is how it looks once it's absorbed that egg. Yep, you can see that. So that's what we're looking for. So that's two eggs right there. So that, that's still a little stiff. So I'm gonna add one more egg, but we're gonna be cautious because we don't wanna add four eggs right away. And we crack our eggs separately because we wanna be careful that uh, there's nothing in the egg. So we're gonna add another egg. Let that mix in. And like I said, we don't want it to be, we don't want it to be um, too thin to where it'll run and it won't hold the shape of your swan, but we don't want it to be too thick because then it'll look rugged and rough, and so we don't want that either. So we're going to look at our batter, we're going to scrape the sides down. Make sure we get all the egg in there. It's nice and smooth. Alright. So that's three eggs. And so what I look for and make note of this, what I look for is when I stop the mixer, 
if it stays stiff or if it relaxes a little. And our batter is relaxing, so it's not real stiff. So I want to show you our final product and what it looks like. Let's see if I can get some of this. There we go. So that's what our final product will look like. So I have a pastry bag. I'm going to fill this, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch uh, our camera, and I'm going to do a close-up so I can pipe the, the, the necks and the bodies so that way you can see. So I will be right back, and we will show you how to pipe these. 